For each statement in 20 through 32, determine whether the statement is true or false. Prove the statement directly from the definitions if it is true, and give a counterexample if it is false. For all integers a, b, and c, if a is a factor of c and b is a factor of c, then a, b is a factor of c. So here's the definition of factor. d is a factor of n precisely when n equals d times some integer and d does not equal zero. So two is a factor of six means that six is divisible by two. We can use this to unpack what this means. So if we let a equal two and c equals six, then two is a factor of six, that's true. And b is a factor of c. So c is six, so we need another factor of six. Well, we can pick b equals three. Well, then a b is six, and that's a factor of six, that's true. Let's try something a little bit more complicated. Let's say a equals 12 and c equals 36. b we're gonna pick as 18. This time, a b is gonna be 12 times 18, which is 216. So is it true that 216 is a factor of 36? No, that's not true. 36 is not divisible by 216. So we have devised a counterexample. So let's justify why the statement is false. Let a equals 12, b equals 18, and c equals 36, which are all integers. That's important because we're allowed to instantiate the variables in a universally quantified statement. So if the statement is true for all a, b, and c, then it should be true for this specific a, b, and c that, we've, that we're focusing on here. Next, we're gonna show that this specific choice for a, b, and c satisfies the premise of this implication. Since 36 equals 12 times three, then 36 is divisible by 12, which means that a is a factor of c. That's one of the premises of this implication. A is a factor of C. The next thing we're gonna show is that B is a factor of C. Now why is B a factor of C? Well, 36 is 18 times two, which is B times two. That means that 36 is divisible by B, which means that B is a factor of C, which is 36. So now we've shown that this specific choice for A, B, and C is an instantiation of the universally quantified variables A, B, and C and this specific choice for a, b, and c satisfies the premises of this implication. Next, we're gonna notice that a times b is equal to 12 times 18, which is 216. Now, 216 is bigger than 36, which is c. That means that a, b, is bigger than C, which equals 36. Therefore, AB cannot be a factor of C since AB is too big. So this is an explicit write-up of the counterexample A equals 12, B equals 18, and C equals 36. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.